All right, welcome back. And we're going to have a very interesting conversation this morning. Hashtag is Breakfast Daily. What's up line is 0550 um, You will engage with us all right especially if you are in um, western region this morning we're coming to you in the western region and the conversation is about galamsey and the pollution of the waters in galamsey because of galamsey uh, our, our correspondent um akusini mejay has a report for us let's take a look at this report we'll come back and then we'll delve into the conversation further Despite the numerous interventions that the government of the day has actually introduced just to make sure that the artisanal small-scale mining that has over the years polluted our river bodies across the country, like this one here in Ancobra, that is the Ancobra River, the situation over here still hasn't changed. And a look at it to show the western states of the river. And the question now is what is still causing the pollution of the Ancobra River despite these interventions. We've had a series of complaints from the Jira on the Ancobra River, how it is being polluted. So we just couldn't look on because it's affecting livelihood. As a result of that, on the 7th of December, that's, this very, that's last week, uh, the music together with uh, other stakeholders embarked on a sweep on the river. It took from, that was from 10 a.m. to about 3 p.m. They were on the river to make sure that they get some uh, of those who are doing the chamfan and uh, polluting the river, get them arrested. But at least they managed to do a very good work by burning some of their chamfan. At least they burnt about 14 of them. And then the, the platform, they had a very huge platform on the river, which we had to bend some of them to scare them at least from operating on the river. The Azim Divisional Police Commander, ACP Francis Kwamechidi, who led the operation, told City News the difficulty of communities along the river to assess potable water due to the pollution has motivated his outfit to intensify the soups. The assembly has done a thorough assessment on the entire downstream basin of the of the Ancobra River. And as the, uh, the municipal chief executive did mention, some of the communities are actually real victims of the pollution that is caused upstream. And so the complaint is that we do not have good drinking water to drink. That necessitates this effort of ours. And as I mentioned, we have three objectives that guided this operation. One, to get persons involved in this illegal mining on the river bodies arrested and prosecuted. Two, to cause severe damage to their equipment so that they do not in the immediate time uh, reorganize and operate on the river bodies. And then the third one, to send a message of deterrent to those who want to join them and maybe come further to pollute our water bodies. And so that was what guided the operation. And then we got about two of the objectives achieved, except to arrest them, which of course, they heard the sound of, the, of the, uh, our outboard motors, and obviously, and they will respond. So they did respond and then they escaped. The, the caution I am sending to everybody, especially our session, the Enzima East session of the river is that, so long as I am here, and then we have this strong leadership coming from the municipal assembly, with my other um, supporting agencies, security agencies in the municipality, I tell you, I will keep pushing them. For the MC of Inzima East, the fight against the continuous pollution of the Ancobra River cannot be won without collaborative efforts from adjoining assemblies. Seriously, we want to scare them from going in. But our problem is the river Ancobra now stretches all over to Serhi, Prisia, Muni Valley, Bibiani, and it empties its mouth in the Ancobra, just at the Ancobra village in Nizimais. And this is where our problem is coming from. So we must be able to tackle the whole thing holistically, bringing together uh, about five municipalities. I have only one. So I think we need to team up so that all of us will be able to come together and arrest the situation one. 
Right, so this is a report from Akwesia J. Enim, our Western Regional Correspondent. Now, this is um, the issue that we have to deal with. It, it's almost like the fight against Galamse will never be won, mm. but we cannot also just throw our hands in the air. And no. I particularly have a problem with we the citizens, mm. you know, because I don't think that we can have um, the tax forces, you mm. know, be there forever and ever. Mm. Now, if they come in to get some progress, you know, I mean, make some progress with the fight against illegal mining and move away and then we come back to cause this problem again. I don't yeah. know what we are doing and if really we ourselves also want the fight to be won. Mm. I, 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 I would like to understand what it is that the, 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 the RECSEC is doing within the region, mm -hmm. you know, because I look at it and I think about it like this. If you have, let's say, 10 rivers, right, the rivers have a path that they go. Mm -hmm. Let's say each river is 100 kilometers or 200 kilometers long, right? If you cross the river on a daily basis, there are certain things that are quick to move, like excavators. Mm -hmm. They're easy to move in and out. Mm -hmm. Those ones you can't do anything mm -hmm. about. If, if, they are come, if they know you are coming and they are alerted and they escape, that's, that yeah. you can't do anything about it. But there are things like chamfans and there are things like the platforms that mm -hmm. they build that you can't easily move, mm -hmm. you know, when you hear the, when you see they're coming, they'll rather run away and leave those behind. Yeah. My, my question that comes to mind is, what's the, what's the nature of the operation that they're mm -hmm. doing? Because if you have, let's say, 10 teams yeah. of people on these rivers, right, that are moving, all you do is that you do daily swoops yeah. once a day. You go all the way to the end of the river, come all the way back to base. As you're going along, whatever you see, you burn on your way going, mm. you know. It, it may sound simplistic, but for me, as I think about it, if we can remove the platforms from the rivers and we can remove the chamfans from the rivers, um, a l half of the fight, I think, will be, will, will no, be, will be gone. No, but you see, the problem, so, so this is where I bring mm. citizens in, yeah. you know, because we've had the um, tax forces, mm. you know, Operation Hold, yeah. something, something, yeah. you know, all, all hold these. Hold one, hold two, hold yeah, three. You, you, you get know. it. And don't forget that there have <laughs> been times that even excavators have been burnt. Yes. Now, this raises a whole lot of yeah. issues, you know, with some um, big People names coming that, yeah, up, you understand. Yeah. So the problem is the burning has been done. Yeah. I mean, at a point, I, 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 I think there were reports of um, we winning the case, the water. Yeah, we saw, I mean, we, we saw, we, we saw improvement some, in some the of the water bodies. Yeah. Um, 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 the lands minister mentioned yeah. it, you know, that we were making progress. Mm. But then if we make this progress mm. and we go back, mm. you know, so if excavators are burnt and then we bring excavators back. Yeah. If chamfer machines are bent, yeah. we set them up. Yeah. We, I don't think we can do daily. You know, it's just the same as we talk about road accidents. Mm. We can't have policemen, you know, line up the road mm. from Kumasi to Tamale. It's not possible. Yeah. You know, I don't think we have the human resource, you know, mm. to have people do daily patrols. And don't forget that the issue of Galamse is not just in Western region. Mm. Right. So mm. if we have problems of Galamse in the Western region, we have problems of Galamse in the Ashanti region, we have problems of Galamse in the Eastern region. How are we going to do this if we all don't um, contribute in solving the problem? Yeah. You know, how many policemen can we have? How many yeah. uh, tax forces can we have? Mm. So if they come in and make <clears throat> some progress and leave and then we go back to the same problem, we are the ones causing are problems for ourselves. Thing. And some yeah. of these communities depend on these river um, uh, bodies, you understand? For, for, for some pe exactly. Yeah. A lot mm. of people don't have mm. access to um, tap water. They don't yeah. have access to Ghana Water Company yeah. Limited. Mm. And but it's interesting problem. because it's, it's some of these same communities will say that's also our livelihood. So I don't, you know, it's a catch-22 kind of situation where people are saying that they are living off the galam, say mm. others, are, others also do definitely need to, if you can destroy the river, you make your money but you will not have a life you know, no, but, water but I is see, life. in that aspect i also um, share the plight of community members right so for instance um, um towards the 2020 elections mm. i was in aquitia you know aquitia is a diamond yes. um, 
community yeah. and people were like now we are not mining mm -hmm. and we are just sitting down you know so i think that it calls for a broader consultation so if the people must stop galamse because where i come from is a galamse area mm -hmm. and you have a lot of young people going into galamse because provide, there's no proper all the farmlands are even being given to mining companies yeah. you know so it looks like this is what a young people mm -hmm. in these areas must do yeah. now we are asking them to stop galamse what platforms or what opportunities are available to yeah. such people you know to earn livelihoods mm. this is what they know this is yeah. what their parents were doing their grandparents were doing this is how they also take care mm. of their families yeah. and so if you're telling them that from tomorrow don't do this yeah What's what the are they eating tomorrow yeah. and i think that we need to broaden the conversation you mm. know to factor all these all things, things in, yeah because this is I mean, people who have learned to make quick money yeah. through Galamse because yeah. they are dealing with money in its, its raw form. And we it's understand. Large. You yeah. go there, you get it, this is money, you go yeah. and do something else with it. What is even their orientation like? Mm. You know, what kind of sensitization are we giving these people to now tell them that, for instance, you need to go into trading, you need to go into yeah, farming? How long will it take for them to make their money, considering <laughs> they are used yeah, to seeing money every day? Yeah. So I think that. This is not just an issue of going into the communities, mm. burning down excavators or chamfer machines and getting stuff done. You know, we mm. need to factor other things in as well. Yeah, yeah. Our colleague, uh, Akwesi Enimeje, is on the line with us. Akwesi, good morning. Good morning, David. How are you doing? I'm fine, you? I'm really good, thank you. Thank you for joining us this morning. Now, and uh, thank you for the report as well. Um, just sort of give us a sense of the the area in which you were and um how how bad is this really when we look at western region in total well david i would say it is really bad and as you already know uh, if you take the two major river streams i mean river, river that we have in the region we are talking about Ancobra, uh, which uh, cut across the Elembele in zima east uh Takwa and Saim, all the way to parts of the uh, Western North region. Okay. Again, um, if you look at Pra, which cut across Shama, uh, and and the rest, mm. uh, these are all polluted uh, rivers. And I'm, I keep making a point that the pollution of our, I mean, rivers has never stopped, even during the 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 the, the, the ban on Galamse. Mm. Uh, these activities were going on. There's a point that I did make that I'm. Um, we need to have a regular uh, monitoring of these um, rivers. And for me, that is the way we have to go. Okay. How come these people are able to have enough time to build the platforms, to build these things, yeah. and then ceremonially we, could, we go and then destroy them, and then we have to report these things? Mm. I think since this, I mean, that this very river is cutting across several municipalities, all the municipalities must use their security councils. To do daily patrolling of this, I mean, of, of, of their portions of, of the river, so okay. that there wouldn't be room for them or adequate time for them to do this. Okay. It is really, really a disturbing situation. In fact, the river and Cobra looks so brownish. I mean, mm. you you can't. There's a there's this water from this stream. I mean, river. You can't use it for anything. Mm. And several livelihoods across uh, along the river banks depend. I mean, depend on this river. And it's really, really bad. Yeah. And so for me, uh, the security people, I mean, the ceremonial uh, soup is not solving the problem. Mm. And for the people who are doing this galamse issues, they, they, they all they have their own, I mean, push factors. I mean, we know the issue of unemployment is a big issue. And it, it didn't start today. It's been there. Yeah. So the attempt to actually uh, solve it should be something that we should take very seriously. Uh, to find alternative values, I mean, for these people, so that there wouldn't be the need for them to go uh, in, in, into this pollution. Else, we are always going to have these people being pushed to go out there uh, to, to pollute the water. And so, when it comes to the western region, uh, in the Lembla portion of the uh, Ancobra mm. River, it mm. is so polluted. In fact, I, I visited uh, some hotels, you know, where the Ancobra joins the sea. Uh, it joins the, uh, the sea at a portion where we have a popular uh, resort called Ancobra uh, Beach, Beach Resort. Beach resort yes. and, and that very resort happens to be a, a very known surfing uh, resort where people, tourists from outside, come to surf, do surfing over there. Mm. And 
because that is it is very close that the where it joins the, the, the sea is mm. very close to the beach resort. If you go to the beach resort, it is the, the water there is so unattractive to want to even jump into wow. it. And so it's really affecting wow. the business of tourism in the catchment. And they have been complaining about this. And this it's is really hasn't this is very this is very sad to hear because I've actually been to that resort before and it wasn't brown at all. It was regular, clear, clean water at the time I went. This is uh, maybe back six, seven years ago. It was clean, fresh, clear water. So, I mean, it's very disturbing to hear this. But you used a term uh, that I want clarification on. You said ceremonial um, uh, um, uh, soups. Can you explain that? Yeah, I mean, that is the point I'm making. I mean, we, we, the, the security agencies or the people who are to ensure regular monitoring of these, I mean, river banks to see if people are actually taking their galamsey, I mean, activities closer uh, to the river. Mm. They are not doing that sort of regular, uh, I mean, monitoring. Okay. And so they, they, they give a wide space of, I mean, time for these people to take their time to go okay. and mount their okay. tents. Okay. And, and, and once in a while, they'll go and say they are doing the soup. And that's how come they're able to see so many installations on, this, on the river. Okay, so, uh, so, so, so um, I know, I mean, I know you're not a, a, a carpenter or an artisan or anything like that, but um, can you sort of give us a sense or maybe, you know, so estimate how long would you think, looking at the size of the structures that are there in the river, how long would they need to build something like that? Yeah, I, I, I did my checks, and I'm told that, uh, you know, uh, these are things that are joined together. They come in parts. Okay. But the parts, the, the separate part, if you look at the, the stretch of it, you can say it's about four parts that were joined together. And this, this four parts, I think they take their time to mount uh, build the, the, the separate part in the bush. Okay. And so when they get to uh, the place, then then they then join it. Okay. And this is something that takes no less than I mean two days to do. Okay. So assuming we have a daily patrol. Yeah. On, on this thing, uh, I'm sure they'll see it. And and you don't think a daily patrol um, is too much to ask? It wouldn't. I mean, I mean, you can even make it maybe. Morning and evening, and don't forget, it is not just one district assembly that has to be monitoring. Okay. Uh, this uh, river, 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 this mm. river we're talking about. We mm. have several uh, district assemblies spread across the, 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 the stretch the, of the, the river. The, the stretch. And yeah. so, so uh, that is why I, I shared the position the MC uh, made that there should be a collaboration. Everybody should be doing it. Mm. All the assemblies should be doing. It shouldn't be just a Lembele. It shouldn't be just a Zuma East. It shouldn't okay. be just a Christian Honey Valley or Tapa inside. Okay. It, it should be done, I mean, holistically. All right, fantastic. I don't know if you want to talk to... No, I think you said okay. everything, yeah. Yeah. Um, Akwesi, thank you very much uh, for your contribution this morning. We really appreciate your time. Yeah. So, you know, w what I think, uh, for me, sort of pricked my thoughts mm. as we were watching earlier yeah. on, and that's why I asked him about it, was the fact that the platforms will take time to build, mm -hmm. you see. So it also shows that maybe our, our commitment mm -hmm. to dealing with this is, uh, has some questions to be asked because, mm -hmm. like I said, daily patrols are not over the top. Yeah. You're looking at the suggestion he's making is mm -hmm. that, and, and of course, I think an MCE made that suggestion yeah. also is that every assembly mm -hmm. that sits along the river, if, mm -hmm. are, if the river is passing through your assembly, mm -hmm. m patrol your section mm -hmm. of the river, mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Just monitor your section yeah. of the river but, but, as but, an assembly. Yes, I, I get that. But the people who have been arrested mm. as a result of illegal mining, mm. what has happened to them? That's a good question. What happened to their cases? That's you a know, good question. Because I, I think know. that we need examples. Yeah. You see the way um, Dampare is going on now. Yeah. There are certain things you would think twice before now you, yeah, before, before doing before it. Because you, do, you know yeah. that now I just can't park my, my car somewhere and just yeah. decide to pee by the roadside. Yeah, 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 I can't yeah. just even drive anyhow. Yeah. You cannot decide that you are in a hurry and so you are going I'm to plow every and, and, and drive on go. the shoulders. You will think twice yeah. because we've seen... Mm. Results, action. you know, yeah. action-driven talk. Mm. So we, we just don't go there, ban stuff, 
um, arrest people mm. and then we never hear anything of what yeah. happened yeah. we need examples yeah. people should be jailed and I mean harsh ones yeah. are that so yeah. that it will serve as a deterrent to other people <laughs> because if, if, if you if you know that you'll be arrested mm. you know some chief will come and beg for you they will yeah. leave you or you go in there begin to back and forth something every day the cases are judged we never see the light of day of this thing yeah. I mean other people don't see the need not yeah. to do that and also the faceless people thank you, you know, behind illegal that. mining <laughs> because like um, if you catch these most yeah. fries you know remember what the two four were saying exactly that in this room here you, you, you get you it you know there's a number of people who are here mm -hmm. Your, mm -hmm. your hands are mm -hmm. deeply involved mm -hmm. in the, in the Galamse. When we because, talk about Galamse, you're here. Because doing Galamse is capital intensive. Yeah. You know, who owns the Shamfar machines? Yeah. Who are the people who owns the excavators? It's clearly who, not who the, are the, people the guys who in the rivers. Them, you, you get what they I'm coming from. They don't own anything. So they work for yeah. bigger people. Yeah. You understand? Who are these people? Mm. Because if you arrest these guys out there, Tomorrow, There's, others will be recruited. More, there are more of those boys you know, who need Exactly. Who and so for me, if we say that we yeah. are fighting Galamse, yeah. we should really be committed you know, to it and find mm. these people, mm. the faceless people behind this act and deal with those people. Yeah. That is, if we say we are serious about it. Yeah. And I think that those who matter know like that. If those who matter. If we say we are serious. Of course. Yeah. Well, we, then we, we, arrest those who matter. <laughs> Don't arrest the irrelevant ones exactly. who happen to be caught trying to figure out how to eat on a daily. We'll take a short break. Breakfast daily will be right back. Don't go anywhere. You're welcome back. This is Breakfast Daily and we are having a conversation on Galamse in the Western Region. Kobi um, Ochre Dakumensa is the Western Regional Minister and he joins us on the line. Thank you very much, Honorable, for joining us. Thank you, too. Wait, so how is the fight against Galamse going in the Western region? Oh, I think uh, we are doing very well and we are winning. Um, we have challenges, but um, we are winning. So what are some um, of the it's challenges? Not like before. So far, as I see, we have more than 30 persons as that are standing trial in our courts in the Western region. And unlike before, um, it's the Attorney General Department that are prosecuting for us. So we uh, are making some headway. Mm. But but um, in terms of the water bodies, how are they now? Yes, um, we've had these bodies. You know, some of the water bodies, like uh, Ancobra and then uh, Pras. Yeah. Don't only straddle the western region. It goes beyond the western region. So sometimes when you put in an effort in the western region, mm -hmm. um, you don't seem to have the full effect because of other parts of other agencies have not been able to control them as it is. But the major problem we've come to realize about the... Uh, we've come to realize about the water bodies is that the people actually fishing along the water bodies are onions that have been fishing in these waters for some time. Mm -hmm. And unfortunately, uh, because they live along the, uh, the rivers, and they actually do fishing in the water. They stop fishing, and they are now uh, doing uh, fishing for good. Mm. So our approach currently going forward is to arrest as part of our strategy. Because in those days, we tend to go there, go and do, try to uh, uh, um, stop the work they are doing. Uh, we sink these some fines and the rest. But because that is the work they do, they come back onto the river and do see. So now the strategy is to go after them and arrest them. So uh, very soon we we'll get the effect of that. I remember that uh, Minister also mentioned about this um, river gas. Mm -hmm. um, the 2022 budget has made provision for, for that so that we can recruit and put people on the river permanently to make sure that this is stopped. But our biggest challenge is that along our river bodies, those who have been doing fishes, fishing there are the people who have started creating this problem. Well, I'm sure um, to some extent you can't blame these people because if the water is polluted and we are not getting any fishes, they probably would also turn their attention into something else. Now, let me find out from you. Are you comfortable with the uh, rate at which prosecution of such persons, um, i.e. people who have been arrested for illegal mining, is going? Oh, yes. I think that now we are getting results. About, just about four weeks ago, we got some judgments, and some people have been put behind bars for almost 30 years. 
So um, we are making um, a great progress. Great. So, um, Honorable, the, yeah. the, the situation that you described, talking about the fact that your river, the rivers are stretching through other um, localities apart from the western region. Um, is there any inter-regional collaboration going on between you and other regional ministers to make sure that oh, we, yes. we have... Yes, um, we've been doing that. Okay. Uh, we've been doing that. But, you know, sometimes our strength also depends on the ability to quickly mobilize our military to action. Okay. Across that length of the river, which is very difficult. So okay. the idea that we are going to put permanently uh, some river guards on the on the rivers is key okay. to allowing us to achieve our aim of stopping illegal mining, especially on the two rivers, is the river and and the uh, forest. These these uh, river guards, how is it going to work? Um, is it on an um, assembly level basis, or uh, how is how is that going to work? Yes, basically, yes, it's going to be on district level basis. Okay, that, that's how we okay. plan to implement it. Even though we manage them from the top, but they are going to be district level basis. Okay. So everybody will be will be uh, responsible for for the area that um, is uh, controlling. Okay, now we've just watched a, a video that shows the burning of some platforms uh, that have been built on, on the river. Um, now, my question is, how, how long do people have between swoops for them to be able to build a platform that you have to come back later to come and burn? You know, you know because of what I, I told you earlier, yeah. um, this is what our current company can allow us to do, like go there, do a soup, um, bend them, and then come back. We didn't finish. These people are able to build new ones and put them back. Mm, okay. We didn't finish yet. So it's difficult. That's why we have to put people permanently on the river bodies. Okay. If you're able to do that, it helps. And this time, the reason why we are getting a lot of ground is because, you know, we have three levels um, that we are operating. Mm. Usually, it's supposed to have been the RESEC and national. But at, the, at our RESEC level, we have also delegated some of the power to our music to do take a lot of active part in this project. Okay. So they do the operations. Region, I go and do my operation. National come and do the operation. Mm. So there's no way they can easily bribe anybody. Okay. <laughs> you understand? Yeah. Because the work that national, maybe, army will come and do. I will also go and do my operation and make yeah. sure that uh, I, I take care of wherever there are problems, and, and, then, and, and then do a soup, arrest them and bring them to. Oh. Okay. Usually when they arrest, even when my DC is arrest, I insist they bring all of them to second B, okay. so that the AG department can take full control mm. of the prosecution. Now, Honorable, um, as we are fighting Galamse, you know, um, we, most of the time you realize that the people on the uh, water bodies are young people. Now, if we are asking them to stop, what alternative um, means do they have in terms of earning a livelihood? Oh, you know that the government has brought, we launched the National Alternative Employment and Livelihood Program. The word is not just only alternative livelihood, employment as well. And we are trying to galvanize all these young people um, into the program. And we have different um, sectors of the program or different uh, projects under this particular program where people are going to do um, land reclamation, people are going to get themselves actually doing community mining because these community mining are places that we are making them um, ethical mining zones in this country. Um, we are looking at uh, people doing the normal alternative livelihood programs as into vocational and technical skills acquisition um, and the rest. So that is where we are positioning them because if somebody is doing mining, you need to give them an alternative employment that will give you more or less equivalent of the income you might be making in other, uh, doing the illegal thing. Yeah. So, if you are talking about land reclamation, you know that the figures will be better for some people. If you are talking about how to do proper mining and they are being trained to do proper community mining projects, they get uh, equivalent income than actually disturbing the water bodies or the foreign zone. So that is what the alternative, national alternative employment and livelihood program is supposed to address.
Honorable, it seems like you have an uphill task on your hands because for young people who are used to quick money, uh, something that's yes, going to, yes. uh, mm -hmm. you know, something that's going to take a while to, to for them to make money, uh, it seems pretty challenging. But um, we wish you all the best. Thank you for your thoughts this morning. Thank you very much. All right.